It is near the holidays, and a must on every table is mashed potatoes. I'm Tess, and today I will show you how to make perfect, creamy, fluffy mashed potatoes. Stay tuned! I'm using russet potatoes tonight for the mashed potatoes. I have about five pounds that I peeled, and I have them in cold water so they don't turn brown. Here I dice the potatoes into three-quarter or one-inch cubes. The key is to get them mostly uniform in size so they cook quickly and evenly. I place the diced potatoes back into the cold water and I'm adding a generous pinch of salt and turning my heat up to high to bring the potatoes up to a boil. Once at a boil, I will turn my heat down to a low boil and cook for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the potatoes are fork tender. You don't want to overcook the potatoes because they will become mush and fall apart. Just a reminder that I will leave the recipe and the list of ingredients for the mashed potatoes below this video. Also remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video recipe and click the bell to make sure you receive notification of all my future video recipes. You can give the potatoes a testing along the way with a fork to check for doneness. Once the potatoes are done, I'm draining them through a colander and placing them back into the pot. I'm adding in some salt, black pepper, room temperature butter, and here I have a cup of warm milk that I heated for about 30 seconds in the microwave. When adding milk or cream to hot potatoes, you want the liquid to be warm and not cold. You can use warm milk or cream, and I'm adding about a half a cup of my warm milk now and will gradually add more. You can use a hand masher, ricer, stand, or hand mixer to mash the potatoes. I'm using my hand mixer and starting at a low speed and gradually increasing the speed to mash the potatoes. As I mash the potatoes, I'm adding in a little more warm milk until I get the consistency that I want. Now you can add whatever you like to the mashed potatoes. You can add fresh herbs, sour cream, cream cheese, bacon, or whatever you like. Tonight I'm topping the potatoes with gravy, so I'm leaving as is. Also, I like leftovers for homemade Amish potato cakes, and that video is coming in the near future. We like the mashed potatoes creamy and fluffy with an occasional potato bite to remind everyone that they are homemade. I hope you give them a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!